Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about the Earth and what shapes it. I want to talk about geology. We're going to start by looking inside the Earth at the different layers. In the centre of the Earth is the core. The core is made out of metal. Outside the core is the mantle. The mantle is made out of hot rock. And the outer layer of the Earth is called the crust. The crust is made out of rock and soil. But it gets a little bit more complicated than that because inside the mantle is a special layer called the athenosphere. And the athenosphere is so hot that it's actually more like a liquid and it's constantly moving. Hot magma from near the bottom rises to the top, then spreads out, cools down and sinks to the bottom again. This is called convection. Everything outside the athenosphere that's part of the mantle and the crust is called the lithosphere. The lithosphere is broken up into tectonic plates. And tectonic plates are constantly moving very slowly because they are pushed and pulled by convection currents in the asthenosphere. This map shows the boundaries of the tectonic plates, where two tectonic plates touch. They're different colours based on how those tectonic plates move. For example, the red line in the Atlantic Ocean is a divergent plate boundary. In a divergent plate boundary, the tectonic plates move away from each other. They make valleys and oceans. The blue line near the Himalayan mountains is a convergent plate boundary. The tectonic plates in convergent plate boundaries move toward each other. They build mountains and volcanoes. Finally, let's look at California over here. The black line next to California is a transform plate boundary. In transform plate boundaries, the tectonic plates slide past each other and make earthquakes, which can cause a lot of damage. Here in California, we live in a very large transform plate boundary called the San Andreas Fault. With this in mind, engineers design buildings to survive these natural disasters. They can build with reinforced material and use things like cross braces and shock absorbers. You can recreate these experiments yourself using a paper plate. Why not show your family plate tectonics in action? Something else which can shape the surface of the earth is called erosion, and you'll learn more about that in the next video.